All right, before we get this party started, the first thing that we're going to need to do is make sure that everybody is running Visual C Sharp 2005 Express Edition. This is provided to us for free from Microsoft. The only thing you're going to need to do is register if you're planning on operating the IDE longer than 30 days. It's a really good idea to do, guys. So, first thing we need to do is go to your new home, your new website. We're already there, but I'm going to have Logan type it in again because the address you see up there is actually a replacement address. It is msdn for Microsoft's Developers Network dot com forward slash vc sharp. Enter. And there we go. Same place, of course. Lots of information here. I mean, there is a lot of stuff. If you're wanting to go above and beyond what we provide each week in lecture, you're welcome to come over here and you will find a ton of learning resources, some really good stuff. I was quite impressed. Loads of references. They have download supports. They have community forums that you can browse through. They've got webcasts. There's a lot of stuff on this site. I mean, we could spend days going, you know, link after link and digging deeper and deeper. But for us, what we want to do is simply get the IDE, so let's go ahead and head over to the right and getting started, so let's click that. All right, so here we are at the Microsoft Visual Studio Express Editions. Now, from here you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, get it for free. So let's go ahead and click on Download. Now, you'll see we have a series of steps here. Number one, make sure that you're ready. So you need to make sure your computer meets the system requirements that are needed to install Visual Studio Express 2005. And you can go ahead and click on that link and make sure that you do indeed comply. Next, and this is important, is before installing, you must uninstall any previous betas, CTP, or tech preview versions of SQL Server 2005, Visual Studio 2005, and the .NET Framework 2.0. Very important. Again, let's make sure we comply with all of their rules. Now, time to get down to it. Step two, download and install. What is it we're looking for? Well, we're looking for Visual C Sharp 2005, so you'll see it right there in the right-hand corner. We can go down to select language, select the language that you need. Of course, in our case, it's going to be English, and let's hit go. Now, it is going to want to download a small file to your computer. The file is called vcssetup.exe. Again, a small executable application. Save the file to wherever you want to save it. We're not going to do it, of course, because we've already got Visual C Sharp 2005 Express installed on our computer. But once you've saved the file, it's very small. At run the file, and what's going to happen is it's going to connect with Microsoft, and it's going to start grabbing all the files necessary that you're going to need for Visual C Sharp 2005 Express Edition. And then you'll be ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and hit Cancel. Now, once you are done, I'd like to point this out. Let's scroll down a little bit further. Step three, download additional components. This is very important. You will notice that we have a service pack out. Go and grab the service pack. After you have Visual C Sharp 2005 Express Edition installed on your machine, then run this program here. You'll notice it's vs80sp1-blah.exe. Run the program. It does some checks on your system, and then it updates you so that you are compliant with Service Pack 1. Very important, just so that we're all running on the same or playing on the same playing field. Very important stuff here. That's it. Logan, is there... Well, there is one more thing in case you want to get an ISO of this. Right. There is, if you, for some reason, need a, a manual installation or want an offline copy, mm -hmm. you can go up to support and from there look for yeah, a manual installation. Let's head on over there real quick. Let's show them. If we jump up a little bit, we've got um, second to last on the left-hand menu is support. And within support, we'll find an assortment of things, including manual installation instructions. From there, we're given a list of ISOs we can download. Um, each corresponding to a different version of Visual Studio Express Edition. There you go. And, of course, we're concerned with the Visual Studio C Sharp version. That's right. So I believe that's everything. No reason to spend a lot of time here. Get the software. Get it downloaded to your computer. Get it installed. Make sure it opens without any problems. Now, this is just... The Visual Studio, uh, to, uh, excuse me, Visual C Sharp 2005 Express Edition. We have yet to download the XNA Game Studio. That's something we're going to be doing just a little bit later on in the week. So just get this at the moment and follow along. We will walk you through getting the Game Studio here coming up in the next few days. So with that, that is going to wrap up this video. Like I said, make sure that you get it installed, up and running, and with the service pack. So that's going to wrap this up. Now it's time to get things started. Let's take a look at our Hello World app coming up next.